Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. And during the fourth hour of watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said. They cried out in fear. Once Jesus spoke to them, take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. And he said, Come. Peter got out of the boat, began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. And those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. After macing the crossing, they came to a land at Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick, begged him, that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. But it is the same Jesus of the Gospel that is in our lives, uh, especially in our prayer lives. And uh, the moments when uh, he uh, invites us to walk on the sea with him are quite amazing and speaks to us about taking courage and do not be afraid and the moment of uh, Peter is really I think for us in many ways our moment with the Lord uh, we'll be in conversation we'll have a, an intention or whatever it may be uh, an intercession even um, and when the wind really grow, grow, gets strong it's difficult for us to truly believe and we say with Peter Lord save me and Jesus stretches out his hand and saves us as he gives himself to us in the Eucharist as we share in his body and blood, it is truly a moment for us to walk on water with him, but also for him to say to us very personally, O oh, ye of little faith, why do you doubt? It calls us to believe in him.